So today I just wanted to uh, make a guide to the book How to Win Friends and Influence People uh, by Dale Carnegie. I recommend that you read the book and you know not just listen to me uh, because uh, you'll gain uh, much more value from from that than you know just listening me rant for some time. Uh, but I will just go through through the principles and uh, explain them in a way uh, that I think uh, you will uh, you will understand and so you can use it. Uh, so this is for um, you know fundament. Uh, these are four chapters of th- there are four chapters of this book. Uh, the first one is uh, fundamental techniques in handling people. Uh, that's that chapter is for as it said, uh, fundamental techniques in handling handling people. So you, you'll use that it, uh, to all people to be more polite and to be an interesting person. Um, the second one is uh, ways to make people like you. Uh, so self-explanatory, um, you'll use these to make friends and to uh, be interesting to people, to people. Uh, the thing you have to remember is that you uh, have to be the initiator in in most of your friendships, uh, most of the friendships that you want to initiate or, or to make actually. Um, so uh, you have to uh, actually be that interesting guy that comes along and invites you to do things because most people want that and you probably want that. Uh, but it's the best to just become that guy. Um, the the next chapter or the third chapter is how to win people to your way of thinking. Uh, this is mostly about uh, actually uh, getting people to think uh, the way you think, uh, you know, without getting into an argument and actually like uh, getting into a fight, but actually like changing their mind for good. Um, this only works if you are are telling the truth um, and uh, how to change people without giving offense uh, if you want to help people change this is uh, these like there are nine principles that will help you with uh, actually um, changing the person without uh, them feeling bad while you know you 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 maybe criticize some some things so uh, let's start with fundamental techniques in handling people uh, the first uh, uh, kind of print yeah f- the first principle is don't criticize condemn or complain so uh, you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't uh, do those things to all people uh, it's just uh, bad if you uh, if you do those things to people uh, let's say you're uh, having uh, you're in the mall and you're waiting in line uh, and there's just like just some slow grandma in front of you and she's like slowly picking her things and slowly her wallet uh, getting her wallet and slowly paying and so you can you can say hurry up you lo- you old f- you lo- <laughs> hurry up you old hag but that wouldn't really be nice and uh, she would probably m- maybe be angry maybe not feel nice and also the cashier, the cashier will look at you uh, funny um, so a better way to approach this is to actually ask, can you please hurry up, I'm in a hurry. Now this is a better way uh, to actually speak with people than to be rude. So uh, this principle is just don't be rude. Um, uh, then uh, the second principle in this chapter is uh, give honest and sincere appreciation. Uh, so what this means is that uh, people like uh, to be appreciated and people like to actually have their accomplishments seen. Uh, so let's say you're walking, um, you, you talk a walk in the park and there's like bas- a basketball court and a guy is pu- like 
you know uh, on the basket and actually like uh, dunking and doing some tricks and you know tr- just training and it seems very interesting and so you uh, you know stop and like say to him like wow dude like how, how do you do that how 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 long have you trained to do that how often do you train um to to just give that appreciation uh, to him because then he will feel good um now it, it has to be sincere so if he was you know doing some bad things and you started appreciating him uh it wouldn't really be he wouldn't really feel good from that because he didn't do anything to actually be appreciated now uh, this these things you shouldn't uh, do just with strangers these things uh, should you should do with people you know so maybe your mother you know you shouldn't be rude rude to your parents uh, and you should probably appreciate your mo- younger mom when it, your mother's cooking let's say uh to actually say like mom you know thanks for the dinner it it is delicious so the third principle is to arouse in the other person an eager want um uh, i haven't fully uh re- not realized but haven't fully thought through uh, uh this kind of this principle but um as I see it, uh, you should uh, get people in be, to be interested in you. Uh, so, uh, to give an example, uh, let's say uh, you met some guy and you were you're talking to him and he said that he likes chess. Uh, and then you ask him, like, how often do you play? And he says, sorry, and he says, well, not that often. You know, I don't like to play chess online, and uh, I have nobody to play chess with because you know my my household doesn't like chess, uh, my friends don't like chess, uh, and then you you should invite him to play chess with you uh, because uh, sorry. Uh, because uh, then he will actually want to hang out with you because you're doing something interesting and you, he actually has a want to play uh, chess with you because he has an eager want to meet you because he will play chess so that's how I understand it but uh, there are probably different ways you can interpret it uh, so that's the first chapter and you uh, should use those principles in most people you, you meet uh, close or strangers so the next cha- chapter uh, is ways to make people like you uh, this chapter uh, self-explanatory how to uh, how to make friends so uh, the first principle is become genuinely genuinely interested in other people that is uh, because most people are interested in themselves but not others and so when you when somebody is interested in you you feel good because they are interested in you uh, so you know um, for example like my sister uh, likes to watch um, series and you know, TV shows some uh, yeah and uh, not a lot of uh, people like to actually like listen to her explain the plot and uh, that even though she spends a lot of time um, watching them so when I speak to her I sometimes ask her uh, what what uh, TV shows are you watching what you're interested in uh, uh, what's the plot and then she explains it to me and then she, she it's just so interesting uh, for her to actually explain it to me um, and I actually like listen and actually try to process it and and uh, try to like ask questions and talk talk with her about it uh, 
so become genuinely interested in other people ask questions and you know just speak with them about things they are interested in and also about them so you get what I mean um, the next one is smile this is a quick one uh, you should just smile because you'll seem more positive and uh, if you don't feel like smiling just think of something that makes you happy and you will smile uh, it just seems, uh, makes you uh, look more friendly uh, to people uh, more friendly than if you were just frowning and uh, uh, you know depressed or bored and you know looking bored as heck so it's simple principle uh the third one is use their name more uh so if you're speaking with somebody uh you should use their name more in conversation because they are because they are more more most interested in themselves they have a name for that and that's their name so uh, saying their name actually uh, makes them like you more uh, because they like their name that's you know you like your name so you probably like your name if you have like a goofy name probably not but you get what I mean most, most people like their name I like my name uh, uh, so the next one is be good listeners encourage others to talk about themselves uh, I was uh, uh, saying this uh, a few principles ago that uh, you should talk about talk with people and if you are genuinely interested in them then you will ask questions about them and uh, their interests uh, so to actually ask them questions about what they're interested in uh, so maybe you, you let's say about that um, basketball boy um, that was playing like at basketball court uh, you can talk to him about the, does he watch basketball games you know does he watch like the NBA or some other league uh, who does he support who does he hate who uh, who is winning now who is losing who is in, uh, you can you can uh, ask him about that. You can ask him how long has been he has he been training in which team does he train? Does he train uh, in a team or alone? Does uh, um, how often does he train? Um, what does he want uh, with his training? Does he want to just look better and is you know interested in just playing, or does he want to go pro and go more? There are a lot of questions you can uh, ask, and once you ask them, you sh you should listen to more things you can ask about them. So maybe he says, you know, I like to watch the NBA, and then you say, well, you know, in this part of the world, uh, the NBA premieres late. How so? How do you stay like a plate? And then he tells you, and then okay well then um you know which team do you support and then he says milwaukee and then i and you asked him like doesn't um doesn't that at the combo play in, in in milwaukee and then he says yes or he corrects you or you know um so the, those are the things i i don't watch the nba i i have a friend that watches that it's so um, those are just the examples that you can um, ask him and he will like actually like to talk with you because he will answer those questions uh, which he already knows the answer to but he wants to share the answers and he's actually interested in that uh, and if you are too it will just make him like you so ask uh, the other person uh, questions and 
listen to what the, they are saying so you can ask more questions. Um, the next one is uh, talk in terms of their interests. Uh, wait, I think I skipped one. Oh, oh no, no, it's it's it. Uh, so talking in their uh, terms, see, uh, I, I have combined the fourth and fifth one uh, because uh, you know encouraging others to talk about themselves. That's asking questions, but uh, you should talk in their terms of interests. Um, so actually, you know, uh, not encouraging them to to uh, talk, you know, about you. You know, you shouldn't uh, encourage them to ask, like, you know, what do you think about me and stuff, but about themselves and uh, talk in their interests. So you know, talk about you know. What do you like? MBA. Well, then tell me about MBA. What? How long have you been training? Uh, this much. Uh, where do you train? There. Uh, <laughs> uh, then, like, can you can you like tell me how you train? And and so these those are like his interests. Also, like if you if you want something from him, you should talk in his interest. So, uh, let's say you want you don't want to go to the mall, uh, no, no, mall to the store, and you want something, uh, and you have your roommate and you want him to go to the store. So you should uh, speak in in in. in to his interests and to actually say okay I'll give you some extra money so you can buy yourself what you want or you know the go you can go to the store and I will make uh, us both dinner you know the you should talk in so they have something to get you know the the store one is actually good because they don't have interest in going to store for you but if you give them interest in like actually like yeah, here's some extra money buy yourself something then they have interest for it and so they will go and actually buy it the next one is uh, make the person feel important uh, sincerely so uh, if you are interested in somebody they will like you, but if you if uh, you make them feel important, they like like you even more. Um, there is something uh, a lot of uh, well, I would say like uh, guys from the countryside uh, do, and that is uh, they often uh, when they like somebody, they will say like. Yeah, you're 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 the best person here. Like you you're you're you know such a good guy. Uh, you're the only one sane here. Oh, everybody's crazy. You know you're the only one that that's good here. And uh, they're doing that unconsciously uh, to make you feel important. And and when you when they say it, and they mean it, mostly. Sorry. Uh, then uh, you feel more important and you feel uh, more well more important than other people you feel more interesting than other people uh, so you should do that to other other guys uh, let's say uh, you know again the basketball guy um, you know he how could you make him feel important well, um, let me think about it. You know, I'm gonna cut this, this out. You could, uh, let's say that there were more people around. Uh, what you could do to make him feel important is to actually like, say, Hey guys, you know, uh, come here, look at this dude, like, he, he, he's... Uh, you know doing such cool tricks and, and he will feel more important um, So like that's just an example 
so uh, that's the second chapter uh, of uh, ways to make people like you now the third chapter is uh, how to win people to your way of thinking so to change people's minds uh, the first one uh, the first principle is to uh, avoid arguments and uh, you know uh, the full uh, I think the full principle name was like um, uh, the best something like uh, the be- to get uh, the best of an argument you should avoid it um, so arguments are you know bad because then you are you know opposing sides and not actually because if you want to change uh, somebody's mind you should see him like like you are with them like you want to help them not that you are the opposing side and that if you prove them wrong that they have lost you should you want to be um, kind of teaching them so when when you actually like uh, you know uh, say things to them and and to actually like um, teach them more uh, that they actually feel good because they have won some information uh, to not uh, be rude to them and uh, because even if you prove that you're right in an argument the other guy uh, will probably not even you know uh, listen to your change just because he has lost so you know out of spite he wouldn't listen to you (coughs) or wouldn't feel good listening to you so uh, avoid arguments Uh, the next one is uh, show respect for the for their opinion so don't say you're wrong um, oh, it's, 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 uh, I have to I have to change positions on it. oh, it's uncomfortable it's starting to be uncomfortable so uh, show respect for their opinions don't don't say you're wrong uh, to actually get in that argument is uh, to actually say like you're wrong this isn't right um, you know you're not you're not correct uh, by saying those things you will uh, you will start an argument because then okay you're wrong I'm right so we are on opposing sides I'm not you know maybe I'm trying to help you but if you lose then I will show you that you aren't right um, and you, again I said like you don't want to be in an argument uh, so don't say you're wrong, you, you know, and 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 to like show respect for their opinion. Uh, to make uh, an example, uh, let's say you are for 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 the sake of not having a better term, arguing uh, with uh, another guy, and you know maybe you are having uh, a discussion about uh, which pair of headphones should he buy. And then uh, he thinks he should maybe buy the the you know more more expensive ones uh, because maybe they have the uh, uh, because they have better quality. Uh, but then you're suggesting to him like uh, to save money, uh, maybe buy something else, and you know to to get uh, okay cheaper ones. Uh, and then you show respect for his opinion, you know, like, yeah, I, I, I get why you want the more expensive ones, you know, dude, uh, my dude, uh, you probably want, you know, to, to, for them to sound good, but I think you should get uh, the, the cheaper ones, because then you, you can buy this and this and this uh, instead. Uh, so actually show opinion don't say like you're wrong you shouldn't you shouldn't buy the more expensive ones you should buy the cheaper ones because then you can buy this 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 and this and then he'll be like well my opinion is that I should buy the more expensive ones so I will buy the more more expensive ones now if you were right then he would be in a worse position and you don't want that if you are like actually if actually like that matters to you, if you, if if you want to help you, 
um, so the next one uh, I have to like turn here so you know um, I have I have uh, wrote the principles down um, begin in a friendly way so uh, what I was uh, doing more is like my dude uh, probably would say his name instead but again like say their name uh, but you should be friendly again like that that's that's the the thing about uh, not being in, in a, an argument because being friendly not saying you're wrong like these are just things to prevent being in an argument um, to actually like, try to seem friendly trying to seem hel- uh, like you want to be helpful helpful uh, and you know being friendly not wanting to to uh, get into an argument because again opposing sides so you know it would be a loss if if you uh, prove that you were right so um, get them saying yes immediately uh, this is something I have also read in in, uh, in another book which was uh, uh, it was giving an ex- example like uh, that a guy could give uh, more m- a guy could um, get more sales when he you know ask uh, questions to the to, to his like public you know uh, he was giving some like speech or something like and then he had a product to sell at the end and a presentation something like that and he was like um, <laughs> I just realized I was in a presentation. I, I, it was some kids show. <laughs> okay, um, and uh, he was asking questions which the public uh, was thinking in their heads, like yes, 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 and so that got them agreeing to him, and uh, and that that puts them into. Uh, a, a state world where, where they will agree more likely so uh, you know uh, let's say about like the headphones example uh, let, let's like ask the guy uh, you know he wants more expensive ones uh, you want him to buy the cheaper ones so you say well you know uh, <clears throat> like yeah I get why you would uh, like to to buy those uh, but uh, wouldn't it be nicer to 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 you know have some some money spare and to to actually like buy this? And he says, well, you know, yes. And then, well, if if you could uh, then maybe do something else with that money, would it be nice? And, you know, there are there should be some points which uh, you can tell him which he will agree with. So you know. Um, trying to uh, get him into saying yes Uh, the next one is let the other person do a great deal of talking Uh, so this is um, about uh, just the person uh, uh, most like thinking aloud and actually uh, getting to getting to the to his choice uh, at the end Uh, so maybe he would um, uh, think and say okay well you know if I buy these uh, expensive ones more expensive ones then you know I'd had I would have better quality but you know that isn't the most important and you know I should probably buy these cheaper ones and then you know uh, well you're right you're like Maybe I should, I could, um, you know, buy something for my girlf- girlfriend, let's say, you know, I could buy her a present out of the money that I left. Uh, that is actually a, a thing that, uh, another principle which is appealing to the nobler motives, so actually, like, you know, uh, saying to him, like, wouldn't it be nice to just save some money and buy, buy a, um, gift to your girlfriend 
and like he he's you know thinking like yeah well you know maybe I could buy you know my girlfriend a gift and you know she would be happy about it um, so appealing to the nobler motives is like um, you know you now you're appealing to love uh, to like yeah you can save money and then you know buy a, buy a gift to your girlfriend a girlfriend uh, so now you know it's he's more thinking about the love than than actually like the, there was an example in the book where a guy was you know saying that he was doing some bad things I don't remember which ones uh, but uh, you, know, you know in the no newspaper and so he wrote a letter you know it was way back you know, uh, he didn't he couldn't write an email uh, and he wrote a letter uh, there's some guy walking in front of the house. Um, he wrote, ah, oh, fuck, never, I can't finish this sentence. He wrote a letter to the journalist that actually wrote that article about him. And he said, you know, my mother doesn't like to, to uh, read these stories about her son. And so uh, the journalist stopped, uh, uh, you know, writing in, in that bad way about him. <clears throat> because uh, again he appealed to the nobler motives uh, so that that's yeah that's the ninth uh, principle we have been about yeah so we are at six one so we shouldn't forget uh, let them think that the idea is uh, theirs uh, so you know, try to lead uh, that idea to them, to not actually say, um, to, to, to let them think that the idea is theirs, you know, you should just kind of suggest it or, you know, just ask questions until they get uh, that idea, but not to say, like, maybe after that, you uh, they you know actually buy the the, the less expensive ones uh, the less expensive um, headphones and buy a gift to their girlfriend and uh, to let them think that's their idea to not uh, um, to not this is a bit later after uh, recording that video uh, uh, I didn't recognize that that uh, it would take uh, you know half an hour. And because I'm not really good at speaking, I'll, I'll make a part two tomorrow. Uh, so, uh, uh, what I wanted to say in the, the end of that video is that uh, I'm grateful that uh, my last video popped up. Uh, uh, I got uh, uh, 500 uh, 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 views, uh, 25 likes, and like some. 10 around 10 comments and the comments were nice you know a lot of them were saying nice things and uh, you know saying that I should like you know think uh, just telling me tips uh, so yeah I, I'm grateful for that and uh, um, yeah I will try to, to, to get the content uh, better uh, so that th today I I made I'm making like uh, part one and it's going to be out today and tomorrow is going to be part two uh, and that's it.